Every time you open up a tech pub or something like that, you see, you know, we're moving to the cloud. We're, we're you know, cloud first. And it's just been fascinating to me as somebody who's sort of been in tech for close to 40 years now to, to kind of watch this because we have a very different strategy. We believe that the cloud is an incredibly important vehicle in terms of deployment. But, you know, there are multiple vehicles for deployment. And I, for the life of me, cannot understand why companies are coming out and firmly stating a cloud-first strategy instead of saying we're completely agnostic about where workloads are run. And we actually let the customer determine that and, and run the workloads where it makes the most sense for the business and for the client. So that may be a public cloud, that may be a private cloud, that may be on-prem, it may be in a colo, it may be in, in someone else's data center. But the thing that's been really fascinating to me to watch is sort of everybody jumping on this, this cloud bandwagon, including us, but as sort of this infallible and intractable strategy. And that's one that, that is, is totally, because I do a lot of investor relation conversations. And, and what I try to explain to the investor community is, look, our approach is completely platform agnostic. We deploy in containers that allows us to put our workloads in the Amazon cloud, in the Google cloud, in a private cloud, or run it any way we want. That to us is a much more important strategy. So that's one area that I think is really interesting to delve into. You know, the other is obviously sort of this, the continued challenges around security. I mean, you know, we as a company obviously take security incredibly seriously. It's one of our highest priorities, if not the highest priority. And the threat levels, you know, if anything, they're getting higher. They're not, they're not going down. And it, it really sort of creates an interesting question about where do we think security is going to be over the next, you know, several years, never mind in the next decade, because... You know, the bad guys continue to be pretty aggressive, and, and some of them are nation-state sponsored. And every CIO, I think, is sort of wondering, you know, where is security headed and, and kind of how are we going to ultimately get ahead of all of this? You know, th those are a couple of things that are, that are sort of top of mind, obviously. And you and I were talking prior to this about it being such a – you're tired of hearing people having a cloud-first strategy. And, and I want to just ask you, I don't even sure cloud-first is a strategy. That's just a tactic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but, but it's become one of the most – you know, it's an expression that you hear an awful lot in the industry. And you're right. I think I would agree it's more of a sort of a tactical deployment approach than, than, than so much of a strategy. Or you could argue that it's a deployment strategy. You know, we are very agnostic. Our, our approach is – to be able to run in a public cloud, anyone's public cloud, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, it, it, as long as it will run a containerized workload using OpenShift, we're, you know, we're good. And so that can be in our data center. It could be in a customer's data center. It could be in a public cloud. It could be in a, a private cloud. But it's, it's sort of that portability and transportability that we think is incredibly important. We have clients that are adamant that they do not want their data put into the public cloud. And so a public cloud only strategy for us is really not viable. So we create our workloads so that they can be deployed pretty much anywhere. So to me, that's, that's a strategy and that's really more important than sort of, you know, the marketing angle of being able to say cloud first. That's kind of been where we're going.